Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 15th of January. I'm James Spann. Too cold and too wet. Flooding remains a possibility. We have river flooding, uh, an ice storm off to the west of here, potential for snowflakes on Thursday here, and very cold next week. A lot to talk about, so let's do it. We'll start with some of the uh, Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. Uh, first off, coming from Cullman. That miserable cold rain is falling. Uh, they're sitting at 41 at mid-afternoon. Up in the Huntsville, that's traffic along Memorial Parkway. No icing problems there. They're at 39. And boy, look at the Tom Bigby River. That is a very swollen river. And river flood warnings are up now for the major West Alabama rivers, the Tom Bigby, the Black Warrior. And the levels will just keep on rising as the rain continues across the uh, basin. All right, the upper uh, trough, again, the base of that will be cutting off into a deep upper low coming right on top of us Thursday, and that will be uh, the result of uh, or cause a lot of weeping and gnashing of teeth in weather offices around here as we figure out what's going to happen with that feature. Hey, look at the contrast. Now, you know, it's cold and wet around here, but look at Auburn. They've got 72 at mid-afternoon. The sun is, is out there. They're thinking, what's all this ice and snow talk? You know, it doesn't make any sense. But if you travel up Highway 280, look at the deal. You got Alexander City at 62, Birmingham at 45. You keep on going. You got mid 30s in Haleyville and Memphis below freezing, where they are under an ice storm warning. Around the nation, the warm air is fading fast. It's over uh, the far southeast, and that's about it. Southeast Alabama down into Florida, South Georgia. There's the radar this afternoon at 219, and it's a very familiar scene. A lot of rain falling. Over the northern half of the state, heaviest rain uh, over Winston County and up around the Tennessee River south of Huntsville at that point. Got an ice storm warning, those counties in the uh, maroon colors, and that has been adjusted adjusted uh, east to include Nashville now. Nashville, Memphis, the Mississippi Delta, uh, down to Monroe, Louisiana, where there could be a quarter inch of ice accumulation tonight. That's not good. And surrounding that, winter weather advisories all the way from Tyler and Longview, Texas, up to almost Boston. And, of course, the counties in green here, those are either river flood warnings or flood watches that will continue in effect. There's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Sunday morning, and this is suggesting maybe another inch here. But this is the map everybody's buzzing about. Yeah, this is the uh, chance of accumulating snow. This is the updated graphic from HPC. And uh, it's suggesting the higher probabilities of accumulating snow uh, over the northeastern corner of Alabama. Uh, and again, we're going to dig deep into this, but I'll tell you now, these setups are very hard to deal with and very hard to forecast until you see the whites of their eyes when they're coming at us. Now, there's a look at some of the modeling on the possible snow Thursday. The uh, 06Z NAM was an outlier. That printed three inches for Birmingham. Most models are in there from a trace up to an inch and a half. And if something happens, if accumulation happens, more than likely it's going to be on grassy areas. But let's get in there and take a look. This is the uh, uh, GFS, the 12Z run, and this is valid at 12 noon tomorrow trough uh, getting closer down below that no real change i mean it's just going to be cloudy and wet with light rain falling at times uh, i don't think we get out of the 40s i mean we've tried to be optimistic and forecast 50 but that's only an outside chance all right snow fans let's look at thursday uh, and again this is at 500 millibars about 18,000 feet up the cold core upper low at midday thursday on the gfs is basically right on top of lake martin and uh, the better chance of snow is going to be pretty much uh, near the, the center of that thing where the coldest air aloft is. And, and it's dynamic cooling. You know, the, the, the air is not really cold enough in the lower 5,000 feet to support snow, but this can generate its own cold air with cooling from above. Let's look at the NAM. Pretty similar. It's got the uh, core, the cold core upper low around Anniston. And, you know, it's not a real big difference. But then again, where we're trying to figure out where the snow is going to come down, you know, that 50-mile change could make a big difference. 
Uh, we'll look at the Canadian. Uh, this is valid at the same time. This is 12 noon Thursday, and it's got the core of the upper low on the western side of the state. And this is the European. This is actually 6 a.m. It's got the thing near Jackson. But really, all of these models are in good agreement. The core of the coldest air loft is going to come right through central Alabama or north central Alabama somewhere. Uh, these are the critical thickness values for snow, and, and they're all showing up there. And the question is the lower 5,000 feet, the, the low levels. That's, that's the big deal. But understand the way this works. Uh, what happens with that? Uh, if indeed you get the dynamic cooling, the snow begins. When snow begins, it will cool down the lowest 5,000 feet. Uh, you don't have to have 32 for snow. In fact, the determining factor for rain snow is up at about 5,000 feet. And as I talked about this morning, these are very hard, if not impossible, to predict. Um, we'll look at the uh, projected snow coming off the NAM, and uh, you can see it suggesting, uh, you know, a dusting up to one inch for most of this part of the state. The higher numbers, the one to two inch numbers, are over northeast Alabama. Uh, you know, Calhoun, Etowah, DeKalb, Cherokee, Cleburne counties, and it's got a circle of, of two to three inch snows, you know, up there east of Piedmont. But obviously, the snow accumulation will not look like this. This is just guidance. This is the GFS, and it's got everybody with a, a trace to one inch, and that might be closer to the truth. But again, the, the problem with these things, underneath them, you can have a burst of very heavy snow, and it can make the ground white in a heartbeat. And where exactly that happens, we won't know until it gets on radar. So I can't tell you now, you know, what town, what county. It just doesn't make any sense to do that. Uh, this is the surface look uh, Thursday coming off the uh, GFS. The surface low is over on the uh, Georgia coast around Savannah. And again, uh, definitely a chance of a few snowflakes. So we're going to mention Thursday a chance of rain, possibly changing to snow. There could be some light accumulation, mainly on grassy areas. I don't think we have any travel issues during the day Thursday with temperatures above freezing. Roads are just going to be wet. If there's any issue, it would be any leftover moisture Thursday night into early Friday morning. But even then, I think most of the roads will be dry. So it just it's a kind of minor deal, but... Again, these cold core upper lows are just nasty and hard, if not impossible, to deal with. Hey, Friday, the sun comes back. We can celebrate that. A sunny day with a high back in the 50s. Saturday, beautiful day to start the weekend. Uh, this is suggesting highs between 56 and 60. Hey, we'll celebrate that. Sunday looks good, but we note that 1,050 millibar high north of Montana. Here's Monday. A trough begins to carve out over the east. Down below that, cold air floods in here at 1041 high. And then on Tuesday, it's just cold. Cold air advection. Uh, this is suggesting on Tuesday we would not get out of the 30s. Here's a look at the uh, European showing the cold air up north. We'll see some maybe minus 20s around the Great Lakes, the upper Midwest. That's very cold. Coldest air so far this season. And uh, again, you know, it might be a case where the next day on uh, Wednesday morning, we'll easily do teens here, anywhere from 10 to 20. So uh, get ready for a very hard freeze for the middle of next week. All right, let's go deeper. This is the 28th. Ooh, the little mischief look there. Low in the Gulf, cold air in place. And then on the uh, 31st, that just looks cold and dry. Uh, but again, you can see the door is open for some voodoo mischief out there toward the end of the month from the Winter Fun and Games Department. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes on the blog, alabamawx.com. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.